This is the Emlet Reads RS2 Plus, the new GNS receiver of Emlet. And if you want to connect it with the best lens survey app for iOS, Avlo Survey Wizard, then it's wise to check this video. Because in this video, I will tell you how to connect this Emlet Reads RS2 Plus GNS receiver with Avlo Survey Wizard, the iOS version. Apple made it hard to connect any Bluetooth GNS receiver with an Apple device. But there is another way, and that way is Wi-Fi. So to make the connection, we need to be able to connect this Emlet Reads RS2 Plus GNS receiver with this Wi-Fi, the hotspot of this iPad. So to do so, we need to know the name of the hotspot and that you can find in the settings menu of the iPad and you can go to general and about and there you see the name in this case it's Eblos iOS 01 the other thing what we need to know is the password of the hotspot and then you go to personal hotspot in settings and there you can see the Wi-Fi password in this case it's 1234567 at the moment we don't want any others to join so we turn it off and now we know this information and we get some other device in this case this Samsung tablet so what we need to do now is first to go to the settings then we go to Wi-Fi and if everything would be fine there is uh, the Wi-Fi of the Mnet Reads RS2 plus GNS receiver and yes we can see it so now we have to fill in the password which should be mlet reach with all small then we click connect now it's connected it's checking the quality of your internet connection and we want to connect only this time so the thing what we need to do on this Samsung tablet is to go to the ResView 3 app then we click on reach we click settings we click Wi-Fi and we click on all the networks that there are and we click forget Then we click on connect to a hidden network and here we fill in the name of the hotspot of the iPad and we fill in the password and we click connect. Now we get out of here and we turn off the Emlet Reads RS2 Plus. The next thing we have to do is to get the iPad and we want others to join this hotspot. Then we have to make sure that we forget all the networks on the iPad. And then we go to personal hotspot and we turn it on. And now we can see the Wi-Fi network of the iPad on our Samsung tablet. So we click on the Wi-Fi network, fill in the password and we click connect. Now we know that the hotspot is working, we can turn off the Mlet Reads RS2 Plus by pushing the power button and it will turn on so on the Samsung tablet we can go to settings and we can make a connection with the hotspot then we can start the Reshoot 3 app 
and here we see the reach and under the reach we see a number which is the ip address of the reach in this case it's one seven two point two zero point one zero point eight that number we need to remember because it's very important and now we can go to settings to change the correction input we click on correction input we click on tcp server and we want some other so we make it 9002 because it already said it was used in other way then after that we go back we click on position streaming one and here we click on tcp server and we have to change the port to 9003 and we want NMEA, we click save. That's kind of everything what you need to do to set up the MNET Reads RS2 Plus to work with MLOS Survey Vision, the best LAN survey app for iOS. So now we are outside and the first thing what we need to do is to go on the iPad and make sure that there is a hotspot we want others to join and we want to maximize compatibility after that we can turn on the emlet reads rs2 plus so now it will turn on and we have to wait till it's on completely so now the emlet reads rs2 plus is on and we can start a gloss survey wizard Now we want to make a connection between AppGloss Survey Wizard and the Amulet Reads RS2 Plus. So we click on the connection menu and click on connect. Here we see the menu. Here we see the uh, connect screen and we want to connect with Wi-Fi. We want to have the IP address as we saw before in the Amulet Reads RS2 Plus. We want to have the port as how we edit it in the Amulet Reads RS2 Plus and we make sure that the Ntrip communication also has the correct port. We want to connect it with the Dutch RTK correction network so we select iOS device and then we fill in the correct information. We fill in the port, we fill in the username and the password and then we select pick and we click on the button. After that you can select the mount point and the only thing what we need to do then is to click the connect button and as you can see we already have a position and we have a float RTK and we're waiting till we have an RTK fix. And as you can hear now we have an RTK fix as well. The Amulet Reads RS2 Plus makes a sound and we can also see it on the screen. Because the satellite icon before the fix is now green. That means we can measure a point. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then for sure you will like this video.